What's up everyone, welcome back to another Stronghold Crusader 2v2. It's been a little bit since I've done one of these. I uh, have to apologize, I went on vacation and it totally slipped my mind for how long I was going and what I need to do before as far as the YouTube channel. Kind of snuck up on me there. But today we are going into our final round of our 2v2 tournament. This is game one, round five or six, I want to say six. And we have Amir Marshall versus Frederick and Snake. Let's go ahead and get right on into this game here. And uh, watch these lords attempt to build up. We will be seeing in the top lane Snake versus Amir. Should be interesting. Um, Amir going to have to deal with an early game. Should be able to do it though. He does have the mercenary post that's going to be able to help him out. We'll be seeing red in action today as we do have the spectate mode on. And in the bottom lane we will see Frederick versus a Marshall also Frederick can have to deal with Knights raiding and an early game as well something Frederick is not strong with and not really known for is uh, being able to handle that and handle it well it does look like the start is doing okay for him um, is nice and we are gonna see Marshall throw an attack here first attack of the game I'm hitting Frederick a little bit harder than I'm sure Frederick would like able to still bring in resources through his back gate lovely for him so this isn't affecting him as much as we would really think and snake throwing an attack as well hopefully gonna be able to set the Amir back just a little bit looking like Amir might have a housing problem right now did just buy a house Ow, did set him back a little bit walls are hurt still bring in those resources though he's gonna be able to make a comeback from that attack I think um, snake looking to keep the pressure on with the slaves there unfortunately they go down is following up his attack with siege though you love to see that um, and here they come those knights, this is where Frederick may have some trouble here. As we do see um, another attack coming in from Marshall, this could be bad. Um, we might see both of the higher rated or seated lords go down as Frederick's ego is getting wiped out. Holy smokes. No stone is left, almost no farms. Um, his moats in the back have been undug. They're trying to come in the walls. He's got ballistas in the front. Amir not doing any better here. Let's go ahead and slow this down as we do see a good number of spearmen going to be making it up to the king here looking to shut him down. That is a lot of catapults close there as well as ballistas. Attack is called off. Can Amir stay in this game and can Frederick stay in this game as we watch both of these lords get rushed down. Kind of crazy you know just how well uh, Marshall here can can put the pressure on Frederick and same with Snake as he comes in for yet another attack. He's giving Amir absolutely no time to get up. The assassins are getting down that front gate. Oh, he's lucky he had the fire there. Um, almost thought he was going to die and we see another attack. Looks like Frederick's doing just a little bit better than Amir um, in that defense as we just see archers surrounding the Amir. Not really able to hold here. Frederick at least has some crossbows up by his king. Unfortunately, um, he's got negative eco at this point. It is getting deleted. Um, you're not looking much better though. He's not bringing in stone. He's bringing in iron. And he's bringing in wood and crops. Frederick uh, can't really say the same for stone. I guess one iron thing. Um, that That's really hurting him as we, as we see here. As more knights come in. And snake. An absolute animal. Looking like he might be carrying this game here. Uh, that's an impressive amount of siege here looking to follow up Amir's castle is on fire I think he's got a certain amount of time left to live here snake calls off the attack But he's got enough siege to follow it up that it'll definitely hold Amir down and I'm thinking maybe two one more attack Possibly one it really just depends on Amir's fire defense um, Frederick just needs to hang on a little bit longer until snake can come and give him that extra support Snake showing up. I think this is the second game in a row that that Snake has really showed up and shown us why. You know, he might be rated as one of the lower lords, but if you don't watch out for that early game, especially now with the UCP, the amount of assassins he gets, it's no joke. And Amir will go down to Snake. Snake's early game is nothing to <laughs> joke about. Frederick here finally getting out an attack of his own. Um, defensive crossbows will be good. It's nice to know that Frederick most likely would have been able to take the 1v1 against Marshall. Um, <laughs> doesn't have to deal with that now. Snake throwing in that first attack, wasting no time and coming to his allies. Oh boy. Went straight for the king kill. 
messed up these two front towers, absolutely demolished it. Now sending his siege in on Marshall, and we do know that Marshall um, defending against siege is um, a laughing matter at that point. He's got one trebuchet in front for defense, and that's really about it. We will see Marshall most likely get mowed down pretty quickly here. I'm looking to see another attack here coming in from Snake at any moment as Frederick attempts to find his feet, and here it comes. Um, will Marshall be able to find this or defend against this one? I, I really don't think so. As the assassins are scaling the wall, um, able able to get in, they're going to be the assassins are touching the king. Uh, the assassins are going to kill the king, and there it is, Snake ending the game, <laughs> giving Frederick that free ride. <laughs> Oh, that is no joke. Snake, absolute boss this game. Uh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. I love it when a lower lord, lower seated lord comes in and can just represent like that. Look at that. Man of the match, no joke. That is for sure. Sir, Sir Longarm, I would say, is in second overall. And then we have uh, <laughs> Frederick and Amir, respectively, in last place, probably based on straight survivability. Wow, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump straight into the bracket and see what's next. We are in our bracket. Um, just updated it to show. Uh oh, never mind. We're not in our last round. We're in round six. We have a whole nother round. Why did I say? It? I believe in the beginning of the video I said this was our final round. It is not. Um, Frederick and Snake coming out with their second win. And who they play last? I th I think Snake also went off in this game. So Snake um, carrying them to two victories. The table has not been updated yet, but they will move up to two and four, and Amir and Marshall will continue to sit in that la that last place as zero oh and six, having a rough tournament. They are. Um, they play Solitin and Rat next, so looking to finish the tournament most likely zero oh and seven, and uh, Frederick and Snake will play Lionheart and Pig. Uh, that's doable for them. Snake could carry, I guess, again, as long as he doesn't match up against Lionheart in the early game. I think it's possible. I think Snake could, could overwhelm Pig with just sheer number of troops. Uh, possibly. <laughs> as long as he's able to just get so many archers in it that the crossbowmen can't stack and really do anything. If he waits too long, uh, Pig will win that, though. In our next game, we do have Wolf and Sultan versus Saladin and Rat. Um, that should be a highly entertaining game, very evenly matched. I'm looking to see what Wolf can do against Saladin. I think Wolf might be the only other person in this tournament that's been able to take a 2v1. Um, however, their team overall has not been doing good this tournament. Um, you'd like to see them get that up to a 2 and 4 and maybe put the, the first lo loss on Saladin and Rat and give Lionha Lionheart and Pig a chance to get there. And that would be nice. I guess Lionheart and Pig are going up against Wazir and, the Wazir and Philip. That'll be a good good match for them as well. So yeah, um, very excited about the next game. Surprising result. Love to see Snake carry again. Um, good for him. And uh, sorry again about the... That's such the long wait in between this video and the last one. Um, unexpected things. But yes, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye.